Hey there guys, we're doing a real quick video. We're going to be talking about Serato video here. Um, so, a friend of mine came to work the other day and they're having a problem that when they open up their video, right, what happens is the video screen is sitting right over top of everything. So let's say this is what happened to you, that you turned around and as soon as you open it, you had this. Real simple, double click on the main screen, drag the top of the window right there, move it over to your other display. So, one of the other problems about Serato <coughs> video is when you go dual display mode, it basically, I don't think it's all the time, but most of the time, <coughs> sorry for the little tickle in the throat, it wants to take your Serato and put it on your extended monitor. So that's a quick fix too. Go into system preferences. I'll go back to the show wall. You're going to go into display. And then you're going to look under arrangement. So under arrangement, that's my main monitor, like my main laptop. This is the extended. So what happens, see the little white bar there at the top? If you move that over, display, go over to your, um, you know, like your main screen is going to be on your extended. And that's not what you really want because you want to be DJing on your laptop, right? So take that. And it's simple. That needs to be there. That needs to be there. Make sure the mirror display is turned off. And it's as simple as that. So now you can't really see this because I'm not recording. But when I take my mouse, because that display was over to the right, my mouse will disappear. It goes into my next screen. And there I have my window that has the video. So on that window, I just double click it. And now it's full screen. When I go here and go full screen, click. I don't have any bars at the top of my screens or anything, and I've got my video going. I might do some videos later on, talk about all the different effects and stuff, but for now, that was all I really wanted to cover was just to make sure that you kind of knew about how to arrange your displays for a throttle video when you're doing a dual display system. That's it for me, guys. I'm going to shut this down, and I'll talk to you soon.